Hey, what's up everybody and uh, welcome. I know it's been a minute since I've done this, but uh, we have reached the finals to the New Japan Cup. And I'm here to talk about the second half of the entire uh, the entire tournament, basically, especially the final itself. And uh, it's a lot taken from this, from the final itself, to a little bit of a preview for Dominion. And, you know, just uh, about some of the matches I probably like throughout this entire tournament. And a uh, big shocking when it comes to the finals of the tournament, like I said before. So there's a lot to speak on um, throughout this tournament, because the last time uh, what well, the tournament was on was, what, June the 20. Fourth, that was like the last time I kind of watched it during that time. And yes, I did watch the rest of the show. It didn't come back on till July 1st. But like I said, I wanted to watch a lot of matches before I even did a recap for the rest of the entire tournament. Okay, because um, the matches that did happen on July 1st and uh, some I may go through, some I may talk on a little. But uh, the match that on July 1st was Evo versus Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi versus Bushi, Sonata versus Sho. And Taichi versus Kota Bushi. Uh, what I have to say about some of these matches. Um, there weren't bad matches or anything. Some were kind of predictable in some ways. Evil going over Goto. Yoshihashi going over Bushi. Sonata and Show was actually pretty good. Sonata, I think he won by um, Skull End. And Taichi versus uh, Kota Bushi. Um, it was uh, very surprising to see. Um, Taichi won. Yeah, Taichi won because... Um, did tai Chi, yeah, Tai Chi beat um, Tanahashi before, but you know Tai Chi did have help from Zack Saber Jr. Of course, so Tai Chi did go over um, Kota Bushi, which I'm gonna get back into them later on because um, it's gonna be a lot to say about that. But since they moved on to the t- through the tournament, that was the second round of that tournament. We kind of went near the um, I want to say maybe the semifinals then, because the first ones that kind of went down were um, one was Hiromu Takahashi. Versus um, Tomiro Ishii. This is Hiromu versus a heavyweight here. Which is good. I, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, Hiromu was kind of my pick to win this whole tournament anyway. So um, it was kind of going good while I was going for it. So Hiromu was able to beat Ishii. And Ishii gave him a big fight out there too. I will say that. But Hiromu did win with the time bomb I believe to win the match. Uh, Okada versus Ishimori. Once again this is another heavyweight versus junior heavyweight. Um, Okada, very good match for Ishimori. I enjoyed this a lot. Uh, Okada once again winning, uh, with the Cobra Clutch, uh, cause it's gonna be a lot to talk about Okada, cause one thing I have noticed through Okada's wins in this entire tournament, Okada has not used the Rainmaker to win. Okada has used the Cobra Clutch to win. So, Okada's been mostly winning everything by submission holds and that through, um, you know, his Rainmaker finish. So, he's been winning by submission through a majority of these matches. So he did go over Taiji Shimori. Uh, Taichi versus Sonata. Uh, Sonata won. I'm not surprised he was going to get the win. I think he won with the, um, was it that victory, not the victory roll thing, but I, I, I mean, it was the victory roll. You, I forget the name of that pin Sonata does, but he did get the win over Taichi. I um, wasn't kind of surprised by that. Uh, Yoshihashi versus Evil. Now, uh, Yoshihashi, I guess, was hurt. From his mattress, Bushi or something. Uh, Evil straight up murdered this guy. Okay, Evil murdered him. He took a chair, beat him in the leg, kicked his leg, kicked him all over the place. Beat him, just beat the dog crap out of him and beat him in under like, what, three, four minutes? I remember I went to the bathroom just uh, real quick and I was going to come back. I come back, the match was already over. Evil won by, um, was ref stoppage, but he put him in the... Uh, you know, Scorpion, Deathlock, um, Sharpshooter, and whatnot, and Evil One. He beat the dog crap out of um, out of Yoshihashi, which I'm not even surprised. Okay, it's Yoshihashi we're talking about here, people. So Evil just straight up killed this guy. All right, he straight up killed him. And then when we got, to, I guess, to the um, the final final, not the finals, but the um, what was it the semifinals or maybe um what was the quarterfinal then we're in the semifinal okay this is where we are in the semifinals now and the final four was going to be okada versus Hiromu takahashi and uh sonata versus evil okay um well for one thing i want to talk about uh before i get into both of those matches number one the debut of grandmaster wato um okay now let me let me say something about this whole debut thing because we've been seeing these little Grandmaster Watto promo videos of him running through a forest and whatnot, and I guess he's supposed to be like this Grandmaster now and everything. 
I don't know who this guy is. And when he came out there, he had blue on. Because in the videos, he had black. But he had, like, blue hair and his whole gear was blue. And I saw him come out. I, I, I have no idea who he was, okay? I, he, they say he's been in Mexico for the past two and a half years. And he was a young boy or whatnot. So this is a new gimmick. And he came out and introduced himself. Hmm. And next thing you know, Doki comes out there and beats the living crap out of this guy, which I I don't know, <laughs> which I was kind of thinking to myself. So this guy debuted, and then Doki of all people beats this guy up. Okay, and it didn't make a lot of sense to me. Now, listen, judging by this new gimmick, I've seen a lot of people say this gives off Yoshihashi vibes. And listen, there's been people in New Japan that have debuted before, which I've heard a lot say, which we're not sure about their gimmicks because it looks like this guy just came out dressed as a Smurf and everything. But people, a lot of people said, well, you know, when Okada first debuted as the Rainmaker, people thought it was silly. Or um, when Jay White uh, was a Switchblade, nobody really believed on him, in him and everything. And there's also some good arguments and whatnot. And I know everybody's saying, you know, Ghetto is this master booking genius now, which... Yes, the man has booked New Japan very great. I'm not taking that away, but I don't know about this Grandmaster Watto thing. Because, listen, I'll say this about Jay White. I didn't like Jay White at first when he came up with this Switchblade gimmick because I thought they were pushing this guy to the freaking moon, all right? But I will say he has grown on me in the past few years now. And he's a top heel over there now, okay? A, like a big top heel because I wasn't really sure about the guy myself when he first came in because when he first came in with this whole Switchblade thing, Okay, this guy's like, what, the co-main event of Wrestle Kingdom like a couple years ago and going against Tanahashi. But, you know, through time they put him in chaos. And, yes, he betrayed Okada in chaos. And then, you know, he became the leader of the Bullet Club and, you know, became the new IWGP uh, champion for a minute. And, um, I, I, like I said, I, I'll say, Jay J White grown on me. He did. He really did grow on me. I, I really didn't like it at first. I thought... He was Kenny's replacement at one point when they put the title on him. And I just wasn't with the guy. But I will say he's grown on me. And, yo, Kata, you know, you know, when Okada started out, yes, uh, I think people did not believe in him like that. But he has proven himself and everything. I don't I don't know through everyone's gimmick because some people say, well, you know, when Evil was just this Undertaker, Grim Reaper ripoff. But now people like Evil and Everything. I think you got to give these things time when you come up with these new gimmicks. Give it a chance. But like I said, I want to wait a minute until, you know, let's see where this goes with this Grandmaster Watto thing. But right now, I'm really kind of like, all right, I'm really iffy on this dude. But at the same time, this guy just looks like a freaking Smurf out there. And maybe it's maybe the way they're doing it. Maybe they know the gimmick looks ridiculous. I don't know. Now, if they kept it in all black, maybe I would have taken it seriously. But when he just came out with the blue on and everything, I'm like, what? what is this? What am I supposed to be watching here with this Grandmaster Watto guy? Okay? So, I just wasn't sure about him at first. So, so I'm, I'm a little bit iffy on this new gimmick to whatever he's supposed to be. Like, this Grandmaster and whatnot. That's what they've been saying. Because I, I thought somebody was about to debut from somewhere else or it's going to be some return or something. But I thought it was, was going to be some debut from another company. But... I believe this is just, you know, of their own project and everything for what they have created. So, let's see where this Grandmaster Waddle thing goes. So, I want to speak on that before I move on to the uh, semifinals of this entire tournament. But, now coming back into the semifinal of this whole thing. Um, yes, um, we did see Okada versus uh, um, our own Tak Takashi out there. Very good match. Great match, I should say. Um... Once again, Okada wins with his submission hole, but um, Hiromu, he never tapped out, okay? I was, really was about to believe Hiromu was going to beat Okada, in a way. I just felt like once Hiromu got to him, I was like, this can go either way, and he could win this, but at the same time, I'm not really sure. But, um, he did, he did end up uh, win, winning it, though. Uh, well, he didn't win, but, you know... He did go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Okada for nearly almost, what, 30 minutes out there and whatnot. Because um, there were times where I was starting to believe he could beat Okada. But um, it ended up with Okada still winning. Like I said, Cobra Clutch submission. He had to take Hiromu down. Like, he had the Cobra Clutch in, but I guess Hiromu was already out. He hit him with two Rainmakers, and then he hit him with one more, uh, that Cobra Clutch, holding it in. 
ref just stopped the match and it was done. Now, as for Evil versus Sonata, you want to talk about, once again, Evil, who has been very, very ruthless in this entire tournament, nearly killed his own teammate at the time uh, during this match, okay? Just straight up murdered this dude, Sonata, out here from the multiple chair shots. Of course, he puts the chair on people's heads and, you know, whack it around and whatnot. Just taking Sonata just as many times as he could down. I remember this match, Sonata nearly broke his own neck out there. It looked like he was going for like a bulldog, no, like a bulldog or something, or or at least like a reverse move, like going off the top rope. Like he ran up, you know, the top rope and everything. I think he couldn't get enough height. And I remember Sonata just landing on his head, and that looked very painful, which I was kind of worried for a second. But, you know, he did recover. But once again, Evil just beat the crap out this guy, even hitting the ref at one point. Um, which, you know, Evil even ended up getting the um, low blow on him right after and just stomping on the nuts with him. And once again, hitting him with the chair again. Evil beat the crap out of Sonata before he could put in the everything is evil and won the match. So he just straight up murdered him, okay? He murdered Sonata out here, which even Evil said in the post comments he's going to do anything to win this tournament, okay? Now, that does reach us to the finals, which we have saw today. Now, it is different from what we see in these empty arenas in Cork and Hall. We are now having a crowd now. Now, New Japan has been let, are going to be letting crowds in this weekend. I don't know how long that will go for. But um, Osaka Joe Hall, Dominion, which is supposed to be happening, like I said, later, later tonight. Uh, that is going to be a thing. Um, like I said, uh, by the time whenever this review will be done, um, Dominion will be later on in that day or tonight because I did see the finals of the New Japan Cup tournament this morning. Okay, now, <clears throat> well, like I said, there is a crowd. It's one third of a crowd. But what I've seen in this um, crowd, though, is that number one, it's not a full crowd, okay? It's one third of a crowd. Now, everyone is social distancing in the crowd, and they all have masks on. So, New Japan is trying to be safe with this by, you know, holding this big of a building and everything because I wasn't sure how, you know, Dominion and in in the finals of this tournament was going to go out. But, um, like I said, it's only one third of a crowd, though. Now, I know everybody's just thinking to themselves right now, yeah, we still don't have English commentary, which you're going to have to wait until like the next day because they got to record it and it'll be some. It's like with even the New Japan Cup itself, you have to wait till the English part comes up before watching. It. You know, if you just want to hear English commentary, you're only going to hear from Kevin Kelly, though, because um, I don't think they could get Gino or Chris Charlton to do it, but that's the only person they're going to be working with, I guess, right now. Is you know, Kevin Kelly, so we only can, if you're, if you're watching this tournament live or anything, you're only going to be watching Japanese commentary, but you can't wait till English ter- commentary comes out, though, okay, but like I said before, there was, it, it, I, I don't want to say, it was still a lot of people from what it was, but like I said, a lot of empty seats, got to keep that six feet of, uh, six feet across from each other, and everybody said to keep a mask on, but you can see the crowd up very well, though, Now I'm going to go through a lot of these matches, because like I said, we just have matches to have matches on here, which they weren't all of them weren't bad, but, you know, some were just there to be there. Like, you know, Great Bash Heel, um, Togi Makabe and Tamaki Hamna versus Yota Suji and Yuya Yuramura. Uh, Makabe getting up the one with a German suplex. Not a bad match, though, you know, for an opener and whatnot. Um, Satoshi Kojima and Hiroshi Tenzan versus uh, Hiroki Goto and Gabriel Kidd. Um, Kojima getting the win over Kidd with the Lariat and whatnot. Uh, now, Master Wado versus Doki. Okay, um, seeing this guy debut in the ring. This is Master Waddle's debut in the ring for New Japan, okay? Um, not bad for what it was. The guy won with like a corkscrew from the top rope and everything on the doki. So, it wasn't bad or anything. The, the match was okay. I will say that. And then, you know, right after Kanemaru came out and attacked Master Wado, Hiroshi Tenzan came out and pretty much made the save, pretty much, you know, Get him away, so I don't know what that means with him and um, Tenzan right there, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Taji Shimori and Yujiro Takahashi went against Bushi and Sonata. Um, Yujiro got the win on Bushi with the Pimp Juice uh, DDT, so there you go. 
uh, Suzuki Goon, uh, Tai Chi, Zack Saber Jr., El Desperado, and Yoshinobu, Ka- Yoshinobu Karamaru uh, went against uh, Roshi Tanahashi, Kota Bushi, Yuji Nagata, and Ryusuke Taguchi. Uh, obviously, this sets up for the tag title match that's going to be happening at Dominion between um, uh, Dangerous Techers there. Uh, tai Chi and Zack Sabre Jr. going against Tanahashi and Kota Bushi, the current tag team champions. Uh, this did end up with um, El Desperado getting the pinche loco onto, I think it was Taguchi, I believe, that took the pinfall from this. After, Yeah, he did take the pinfall from this, but right after then, um, Dangerous Techers and whatnot, and, uh, and everything pretty much started. Them, them and Tanahashi and Ibushi kind of started brawling with each other after the match. Um, which Tana and Ibushi got the upper hand. So uh, Suzuki Goon backed off from then. Uh, Lij Tetsuya Naito, Shingo Takagi, and Hiromu Takahashi went against uh, Chaos there. Show Tomiyoshi and Yano. Now there are some setups in this match. Of course, a match that was announced for Dominion also for tonight. Um, Shingo Takagi versus Show for the Never Open Way Championship. Since Show beat uh, Takagi in the first round of this entire tournament, I guess he's earned himself a title shot, and they've been kind of building this feud for a second, so that is going to be a title match tonight. Um, <clears throat> uh, and, you know, it ended up with Naito and them getting the win anyways, um, pinning Yano with the um, that combination move tag team that they do, but it was like a jackknife pin. And then right after, all three members had their titles in the ring, setting them on the ground, looking, posing, and even uh, Romo said something to Naito about, you know, I guess he's still coming for both those titles and everything. But now we reach the finals of this entire New Japan Cup tournament. Evil versus Okada. Now, two things could have went with this, because A, Okada could win his third New Japan Cup, because I believe he won on his first try, and he won last year. It's New Japan Cup 2 main event, the G1 Supercard Super back in Madison Square Garden. But now, um, could he win it again against Evo? Evo, who's been very ruthless in this tournament, and uh, Okada, who's won nothing but just submissions in this entire tournament also. Now, Evo, Evo once again was very ruthless in this, but Okada still getting that... Uh, Submission hold in, and it got to the point where, you know, Okada did ended up, you know, once again doing the Cobra Clutch, then two Rainmakers, and the Cobra Clutch again. Evil looked like he was not going to get out of there, but for some odd reason, Bully Club comes out and kind of distracts um, uh, Okada for a second, Gato, but then Yujiro Takahashi pretty much comes in, which for me, I thought it was going to be Jay White, but Jay White did, can't get into the country right now. But Yujiro took him out in the ring, and I'm thinking, okay, Bullet Club's trying to screw Okada. But Okada was still able to get up, though, as Evil, it took a long time to get up. Evil hitting up a big clothesline and everything, but um, Okada was able to get back with a drop kick. Once again, go for the Cobra Clutch. Evil going for the eyes um, several times, but um, like I said, Okada's still trying to put that... Cobra clutch again and hit him with a Rainmaker uh, once again, but it still did not work. Um, but, you know, once again, the ref ended up going down again as Okada tried to go for it. Evil hitting a low blow. I know there was chairs in the ring, which, you know, Evil did a darkness falls onto a whole pile of chairs at one point. But, um, which, once again, when the referee, when they got to start dodging the submission holds, then once they got back in, you know, Evil and Okada dodging uh, moves and whatnot. Evil was able to low blow Okada again. And uh, once again, the ref was not looking. And then Evil ended up stomping him into the in the nuts because the referee was down. So Evil stomped uh, Okada in the nuts. And then he hit the everything is evil for the win. So Okada, not Okada, but Evil has won the New Japan Cup tournament. And uh, will face Naito. For the um, IWGP and Intercontinental uh, Championships, uh, right after Evo, as he spoke on the mic, on the microphone, right after saying he has won the tournament, he called Naito out. Naito came out to congratulate him, and he says tomorrow, well tonight or tomorrow night will be the first ever Lij main event and whatnot. And you know he likes the side of Evil now, and uh, pretty much says let's have some fun. But as Naito put his fist up, pretty much doing the occasional fist bump with all his LIJ members, Evo was going to put it, he put his fist up, but then he turned into a too sweet sign, and he hit the everything is evil on him then after that. Next thing you know, all the Bullet Club comes out and claps their hands, cheering him on, and when he got in the ring, 
Um, Evo ended up taking the LIJ hat, stepping on it, kicking it, and then when all the Bullet Club members in the ring, Evo and them did the two sweet sign with each other. But as they were about to jump, Night o, the rest of LIJ came out for the save, then pretty much knocking Bullet Club back. Hiromu pretty much looked surprised after what would happen as they went up to help Naito. Um, Evil has turned his back on LIJ and is defected in the Bullet Club now, okay? I am very shocked by this. This is something I did not really see coming, okay? I did not even expect this to happen because, um, listen, I, I know it's not a lot of Bullet Club members right now. In Japan, like I said, the virus can't really get in and out the country like that. I don't know how the virus is going over there in Japan right now, but um, obviously they still must have travel bans and who can and coming out, come in and come out the country and whatnot. But I guess they needed a new member. Evil was not what I expected. Okay, that was surprising to me. I did not expect to see that. Um, especially turn on Naito. Like I said, I know the guy was being more ruthless in this tournament and. Yo, know, I just thought Bullet Club was out there to screw Okada, but the fact when Evo put that two sweet sign up before he could even connect the fist bump all the way, I was like, holy shit. And, you know, Evo's been in the group since, what, 2015? Like, Naito's first recruitment, as they said on commentary, but now he's turned his back on Okada, on uh, Evo, that Evo messing up. He's turned his back on Naito, and he's turned his back on all of LIJ to de- join the Bullet Club now. So. That's some shit I didn't even expect, okay? I didn't expect that, but Evil is now Bullet Club. So, yeah, LIJ just lost a member here, folks. That was something I really did not expect. And I wanted Evil to win this tournament anyways, because I just didn't think Okada needed a third one under his belt. And I don't think we need to see Okada versus Naito again right now, uh, even though no, after having Wrestle Kingdom. I think we could wait for a later date about that. But in tonight's main event of, you know, Dominion, we will have, it will be Evil versus Naito for both... Uh, the heavyweight and intercontinental championship also as we have the tag team titles on the line with Tanahashi and Ibushi versus Zack Sabre Jr. and Tai Chi and the never open weight championship is also on the line with Chingo Takagi versus Sho I do not know any other matches that have been announced during this time I'm recording right now so I don't know what will be tonight for Dominion okay but I was shocked to see the outcome well not the outcome of the finals of the New Japan cup tournament but just what happened after the new japan cup tournament with evil turning on lij to join bullet club now so that shit was very surprising all right it really was but other than that though i will have a review for dominion by tomorrow i'm not gonna do it right after the show tonight because i don't know what time it starts tonight but i know it's gonna start late but i will have a review for dominion for tomorrow and a little another quick program oh it programming note if you have watched my smackdown review i did get it wrong and say that's that you know extreme rules was tomorrow night for and, and the go home show was friday but obviously i was wrong extreme rules is you know next week so if i said it was a go home show on the smackdown review don't pay that any attention because i fucked up and i got that wrong okay but other than that though um new japan cup tournament though it's been a very good tournament for what it was. Um, like I said, you don't have all the favorites over here and the big some of the bigger players, like I said, that people expected to see in this tournament, like guys like Jay White or Osprey or other guys that are, you know, come even anyone that even comes to New Japan, like Mox others just to be in the tournament. So they've had to take many um this extreme measures to do what they had to do. Heavyweight, junior heavyweight, young boy, we had to put anybody in this tournament, okay? Did I really expect Evil to win this whole thing? Not really, but I felt like somebody from LIJ was going to win. My money was on Hiromu, but Evil, um, I did not expect in a way. It's not like he was my last one to win, but um, I really didn't expect that. I was like, we can get through Okada then. Uh, we'll see what happens then. But the fact now he's turned on LIJ and to join Bullet Club, that's very surprising, all right? But other than that, though, that is my uh, my review of this whole New Japan Cup tournament like i said the finals and everything like i said we will have a review for dominion tomorrow but this is my review for the new japan cup finals uh this is part two when you think about it by the way so other than that comment subscribe tell me what you think about this entire tournament itself follow me on twitter at hood and night 890 and uh i will be back later on once again for dominion and tell me what you think about the preview for dominion or any other matches that have been announced are you looking forward to tonight's show are you in that but yeah other than that I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.